That's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. Good morning, Eagles. Today's t Monday, December 4th. Mondays, partly cloudy, 33 degrees. Tuesday, sun, sunny, 34 degrees. Wednesday, sunny, 38 degrees. Thursday, 41 degrees. Friday, sunny, 42 degrees. Burr, you better wear your jackets. Right, Rudolph? Burr. <laughs>
the Diary of a Wimpy Kid series. I liked this series because it made me laugh. I enjoyed reading The Long Haul. Greg was stuck in the back seat, and he kept on talking about all the things he didn't like in his life. He was also stuck in the back seat with his pet pig. The pet pig had to use the restroom, and he kept squealing and running around, which drove Greg crazy. You should read this series if you like to laugh. I read the Candy Fairy series. I like. I really like this series because it had fairies. The fairies all go on different adventures. In one, they are trying to go to figure out who took the, all the candy from the stockings. You need to read these books if you want to know who took the candy. Hi, my name is Sophia, and today I'm interviewing Mrs. Wood. Hey, guys. What would you like to do when you aren't at school? What do I like to do when I'm not at school? I love to play with my baby Bridger. He is chubby and very, very extremely cute. That sounds cool. Why did, why did you get into education? Education. I love little kids. I've always wanted to teach young students and I just think they are excited about school and about life and I think they are also hilarious. Interesting. What makes you, what makes Armstrong such a wonderful place? Hmm, the first thing I think of, what makes Armstrong a wonderful place? Mr. Robinson. Also, I think everyone here feels lucky to be here. I think the students feel lucky, I think the teachers feel lucky, parents, everyone feels lucky to be here. I agree. If you could go anywhere in the world, where would you go and why? Anywhere in the world. Uh, I think I would love to go to Switzerland, go to those big, beautiful mountains. I love to hike and just be outside, and those are a dream of mine to go see. Also very interesting. Mm -hmm. Thank you for your time, Mrs. Wood. You bet. Thank you. Thanks for watching. This was ABC News. Hi, I'm Mrs. Antonetti. And I'm Mrs. Fordham. We are, we are the, the coaches, coaches here at Armstrong for Girls on the Run. Girls on the Run's mission is to inspire third through sixth grade girls to be joyful, healthy, and confident using a fun experience-based curriculum which creatively integrates running. The vision of the program is a world where every girl knows and activates limitless potential and is free to boldly pursue her dreams. Registration for our team is open now. And flyers are coming home with girls in grades three through six, which explain the registration process, or you could head on over to girlsontherunutah.org to learn more. The girls with us today were members of our team last year. They want to tell you what they love about the program. Hi, my name is Kayla, and what I like about uh, Girls of the Run is that it builds up our confidence. Hi, my name is Abby, and what I like about Girls on the Run is making friends. Hi, my name is Izzy, and what I like is developing teamwork skills. My, hi, my name is Riley, and I like Girls on the Run because you get to run a lot. Hi, my name is Alyssa. I like Girls on the Run because of the snacks. Hi, my name is Emma. I like Girls on the Run because you get to spend quality time with girls with different personalities. Hi, my name is Maddie. I like Girls on the Run because you get to meet new pe people and make new friends. Hi, my name is Abby. I like Girls on the Run because you get to have fun while being physically active. Hi, my name is Mexley, and I like Girls on the Run because you get to learn something new. Hi, I'm Regan, and I liked Girls on the Run because it gave me an activity to do that I wouldn't have normally done. I'm Olivia, and I personally like Girls on the Run because of the treats. Hi, I'm Aubrey, and I like Girls on the Run because the 5K.